Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about digestion. And the reason we're talking about digestion is because so many emails are coming in about heartburn and being lactose intolerant, being gluten intolerant, so much confusing information. So let's just review. I want to show you the anatomy of the organs of digestion. Here we go. We start with the mouth. We start with the mouth and then as the food enters into the mouth, the saliva begins to break it down, the carbohydrates. It moves down the esophagus and into the stomach. The stomach has hydrochloric acid. Its job is to begin to emulsify the food and, and, and make it kind of uh, soft so that it could proceed with digestion. It also continues the carbohydrate breakdown. Now, we're going to be moving on. Well, while we need the stomach for digestion, we have the liver and the gallbladder. Remember, the liver is a detox organ, and it also produces bile, and then it transfers the bile to the gallbladder. The gallbladder stores the bile and excretes it as it begins to enter into the duodenum, and then the small intestine and large intestine continuing on for uh, digestion. The pancreas is also designed to uh, give you pancreatic enzymes to break down proteins and fats. All right, now remember the bile emulsifies the fats. Okay, so what's so important about all that stuff? What the important thing to get out of this whole um, um system of organs is number one you got to eat early in the day if you don't have a gallbladder make sure that your biggest meal is at lunchtime because the liver produces gallbladder um not gold it doesn't produce gallbladder it produces bile the liver produces bile early in the morning and it could utilize that and especially if you're missing your gallbladder you don't have an area to store it so therefore you can use it as you produce it Later on in the day, when you don't have the uh, storage organ, the gallbladder, because maybe you've had it removed, then you're going to end up getting heartburn and digestion problems. Also, eat earlier in the day so that your body has a chance to digest. Drink lots of water. Stay off of a lot of caffeinated things like coffee and chocolate. Have coffee in the morning. And, um, you know, the other day I was talking to my class while I was teaching spin, and somebody yelled out a question and they said, you know, why do you ask us to drink 20 ounces of warm water every morning when you first wake up with lemon? Do you know why? Let me tell you. It detoxes the liver. If you detox the liver from the toxins that are produced throughout the body at night, then your liver is going to be able to do a better job in clarifying and clearing out all the toxins throughout the day. Also, it will be more efficient in making bile and of course with the bile uh, production the suspension of cholesterol so there's less cholesterol floating around in your bloodstream so not only is your digestion better but your cholesterol numbers fall and and remember last week we talked about that book that came out ending the end of alzheimer's well remember that the amyloid plaques use cholesterol molecules so it's reason to say that if you have a high cholesterol in your bloodstream and you have all those other risk factors, you're more likely to develop amyloid plaques in your brain, therefore leading to Alzheimer's. So let's don't be that person. Eat early in the morning, eat small amounts, do a 15 hour fast, elevate your bed when you sleep at night, drink lots of water, drink organic apple cider vinegar to balance the acidity in your body, and do exercise every day. Oh yes, and decrease your stress through breathing. Inhale in and exhale. Have a good day.